Hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcosXHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses. Do have a mid-morning update for you. Kind of mentioned it in the video earlier today uh, that we may find ourselves under the severe weather outlook. So the Storm Prediction Center, when they came out with their 8 a.m. outlook, did place most of the Arcotex in the marginal risk area for a few strong to severe storms. I kind of figured that was coming since we do have a cold front on the way and uh, very warm temperatures in place ahead of that front. So very strong updrafts with the storms today. What that means for us, we could see a few high wind gusts, and we've seen that uh, throughout the summer even when we're not in the severe weather outlook the storms the past few months have been producing some gusty winds a lot of tree damage uh, type uh, impacts across the region so that would be pot potential once again this afternoon this evening in addition to that maybe a few uh, instances of hail with some of the storms that honestly think high wind will be the main issue for us as we continue through the day you can see your high temperatures out ahead of the front warming into the upper 80s and low 90s a little bit later and uh, already seeing some rain develop across northeast texas again the main frontal boundary now making its way into mccurtain county and there will be some some additional redevelopment here. We'll probably pick up a few sea breeze thunderstorms as well uh, south of I-20 as we go through the afternoon. So we'll be getting rain from a couple different directions today. Future cast lining up okay with where the rain is this morning. And notice it does show things really popping out uh, this afternoon. So maybe see that main line of storms into Texarkana maybe a little bit before 2 p.m. today and then down through Shreveport as we go through the afternoon and evening. Pretty good chance we'll see some of this continue uh, into the overnight hours. And what will happen, that frontal boundary is going to stall out south of by 20 so that's why we're thinking there may be another round of storms tomorrow morning uh, and again some scattered thunderstorms will continue for your Tuesday so we're looking at decent rain chances both today and tomorrow then we should begin to dry out for the remainder of the week as far as the latest rainfall outlook especially if that front stalls south of I-20 we can definitely see some areas that pick up maybe one to two inches of rain uh, but generally most of us less than an inch of rain here but we'll keep an eye on it as we go through the day tomorrow if we do see training of thunderstorms over the same areas could see some issues develop but uh, as of right now that's not something we are are expecting and as far as your seven day forecast does show again a few days in the 80s here drying out through the middle of the week and just slight rain chances through the weekend so after starting out the week in the 80s likely going to see afternoon highs in the low 90s uh, for the remainder of the week